like the MVP, sort of like what's the what's the minimum thing you can put together to put out there to see how customers react before you uh, start to uh, try to scale up your business. And with Murphy, um, we overbuilt. So the original product was more complicated than it needed to be to go and test a lot of our assumptions. Um, and uh, I mean, that's something you have to, I mean, that you know, we, we have, a, we have a, a, a platform where people send their music, send their CDs to us, we put the music in the cloud and allow people to buy, sell, and trade all that music. Now, that's the platform we have today. The, and that's more or less what we launched the company with. And the, the, really, the MVP would have been, hey, send your CDs to Murphy, and we'll let you stream them from the cloud. Like, that would have been very simple. Uh, to do, and uh, I, I was hung up on kind of this ownership bent and exercising your rights of ownership, which is selling and trading and all these other things. Um, and so it took us a little longer, a little bit longer, a few extra months to to get that first product out the door, uh, for example. So really take a hard look at what you know what really is the minimum feature set that you can build to put in front of customers so that you can shorten that feedback loop that Brian talked about. Because the faster you can get something out, the faster you can get feedback, the faster you can iterate. And it's really a game of how many iterations can you do until you um, run out of capital or until, uh, you know, until your business sort of catches on. You have customers coming in uh, where you can continue to either get the business funded or grow off of revenue. I would add as well that uh, don't keep doing the same things and expect different results. It's easy to get... <laughs> focused on your startup, it's easy to get stuck doing the same things every day because you're busy and they're, they, you know they need to be done. But in the end, nothing's going to change, even though you may have the answers, you've got to find people either help take on the day-to-day -day tasks uh, so that you can free yourself up to try the new ideas or, or change things to, to make a difference. Um, but you can't just stay stagnant and stay busy.